Hey guys, what's up? This is Shukesh and ultimately Google Home is launched in India with some added features, uh, Indian content partners and also some restrictions for the Indian users which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. Flipkart is the only retailer of this device as of now and it will be sold offline as well and I have got the Google Home Mini which will cost you around 4500 rupees but considering the partner offers and the free services I got this device practically free of cost. I mean, I got GeoFi router, got 10% discount with my bank offer and also Ghana Plus, Savan and Google Play subscriptions for around six and a half months. I also exchanged my 10 year old speaker, which I was about to throw away and I got thousand rupees discount. So it was overall a great buy and this Indian version is somewhat different from the global version not in hardware but in the Google Home ecosystem you have these content partners for music, for home automation, news and of course videos. This is gonna expand over time with more content partners for Indian users and What's most exciting is Hindi support is coming later this year. Several features like routines or shortcuts will be tweaked for the Indian audience as well. And of course, it's tuned for Indian accent. Now let's unbox this thing and check the device itself. There you go, the all new Google Home Mini for your home to make it smarter. I got the charcoal version. I like this color more than the chalk variant. Let's check what's inside the box. I will show you how to set up the device. I will talk about the basic features and also discuss the pros and cons. There you have a mini manual and also the power adapter which looks really cool. Goes with the round profile of the device. It comes with micro USB not type C. So this is one of the fields Google can really improve on or upgrade to on its second generation. There is nothing else in the box, so let me give you a quick demo of this all new Google Home Mini. Now indeed, the device looks cool, it looks like a pebble and the material considering the price point is top class. The finish, the look and feel of this speaker is really premium. You get non-skid silicon at the base with plastic housing and this plastic is actually created using recycled material and you get fabric at the top with no visible hardware keys but some soft keys hidden under this fabric which enhances the aesthetic value of the speaker. There are two microphones and for accurate far field recognition it utilizes a technique called neural beam forming and as I have shown you before this is the micro USB port for power supply. There is a toggle here to turn the microphone off for your privacy and Sadly, there is no 3.5 mm jack to connect this to other speakers. There is a way to connect this speaker to your Bluetooth speakers, but there is no direct way to do that. I will show you how to do this on my later episodes. Now, if you happen to have a Google Chromecast or simply Google Cast, you can actually command and control your TV. You can summon any video from YouTube and also with Chromecast audio, that is Google Cast audio, you can control or mirror the speaker to your home speakers as well. The Google Home Mini is basically a smaller version of original Google Home with less volume, bass levels or lows. This Google Cast audio might be a great accessory for your Google Home Mini. But Google Cast Audio is not wireless either, so if you want to use your Bluetooth speakers then you should prefer connecting using Bluetooth. Now on the second generation I hope Google uses lanyard or a wall mounting option and also make this water resistant and also maybe drop resistant or shock proof and also a 3.5 mm jack. Now let's connect the power supply and turn on the device, connect to my phone and try this speaker out. There you have the four LEDs at the top hidden under the fabric. These are multicolored and looks really, really cool. This denotes your volume levels and also different functions. The top had a soft key as well, but this has been disabled since there was a bug recording your voice without you asking. 
as I mentioned before, you can tap on the sides to control the volume and if you have more than one speaker, then you can do multi-speaker setup and broadcast any message to all of your speakers in the house. You can also command any specific device separately by their name. To connect to your phone, simply download Google Home software on your phone. Go through the steps one by one. It's really very simple. Select the Google account you want to use, then it will scan for the speaker and connect automatically. There is nothing to do actually. There you go, Google Home Mini has been found. So let's connect and now make sure you specify the speaker with the location like your office speaker or your bedroom speaker and you can command that speaker separately by its name as I just mentioned. There is something called voice match which can distinguish your voice from others up to 6. So if you say call my mom it will recognize your voice and call your mom. Your partner can call his or her mom just like so without specifying. So it's one of the cool features of Google Home. Now train your voice just by saying ok Google 4 times. Next you will find the music subscription options so sign in or sign up and link to your Google account. There you go the Google Home speaker is now ready to rock Hi, your home. I'm your Google assistant here to help. To learn the speaker is do, indeed really really loud. I am actually quite surprised considering the size of the speaker. The volume level is actually quite good more than enough for a big room so if you already have a good speaker then you can save money get this mini version and you can also buy google cost now let's check out this demo okay google what is the time now it's 10 42 okay google how do you say i love you in hindi Okay Google, call an Uber. Uber isn't supported in this region. Okay Google, call wife. Sorry, I can't make calls yet. Okay Google, send a message to mom. Sorry, I can't send messages yet. So these are some restrictions or shortcomings which your Google Assistant on your phone can book do an Uber and to there work. is also Bixby on Samsung which can even book an Uber for you. Most of these restrictions are for this Indian variant. You can make calls on the global version but you can still send Let's messages since this device here. is not yet confident enough to send messages without displaying it. But Android Auto can do this, I mean it can repeat the message to confirm. With the help of IFTTT you can send text messages using Google Home. So I think Google Home especially the Indian variant is yet to mature but it's a really fun device. It doesn't really cost much so definitely get one. Google will roll out updates for this Indian variant pretty soon and Google is also planning on spreading more awareness about Google Home or Smart Home or Home Automation to Indian users. So stay tuned get one of these Google Home minis and don't fall behind. I hope that this video was really helpful to you. I will go through this device thoroughly and I will show you some tips and tricks. Upload tutorials on this speaker to get the most out of this. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. This is Shukesh signing off. Have a great day.